They're reduced to 250 now. So what did you pay? Four. Hundred pounds? That's more than I've paid for all the shoes I've owned in my life. Ooh, I could never tell. Uh, well, at least I'm not in pain. So I may lose a toe or two. It's the price you pay for looking this hot. <laughs> I think they're worth it. Worth it? Well, for an entire wardrobe, maybe, but not a pair of shoes. Yeah, well, I'm going to need something nice if I'm going to be due tomorrow. Ah, well, we're not. I'm sorry. Oh, but your dad said it'd be a good opportunity to meet people. <sighs> Didn't you, Mr Pollard? It was a good opportunity for him to meet people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, I've met them all already. Yeah, not when they've had a few drinks inside them. In some cases, a couple of bottles. <laughs> Is Marlon there? Uh, yeah, just go through. How else do you think I made my contacts? No, oh, it might work for you, but I don't want to get on like that, all right? It's no good simply visiting constituents. You've got to start networking to get to know the people who really count. Dad, I am... Thank you. I've told you I am not interested in listening to a bunch of drunks backstab each other. Uh, are you interested in getting your issues on the table? How do you think these deals are done? By working hard and turning up to meetings. <laughs> have you not arrived at meetings when decisions have already been made? Yeah, I mean, people will agree to anything, won't they, when they've had a, when they've had a drink? Uh, they will also... Let a few things slip. It's awfully useful if the chairman of planning is known to be obliging the chief exec's wife. That is blackmail. <laughs> it's politics. And if you don't want to go there for that, well, at least keep your old man company. Yeah, and take me out for an afternoon. All right, all right, I'll go. Get you to off me back. <laughs> I don't get what... Gorgeous. Look really good on you. Bit high though. Yeah, well, the higher the heel, the longer the leg. You should get some. <laughs> oh, can we stabilisers, do they? Anyway, I thought you'd spent all your money on uh, the electricity bill. Yeah, I did. What, so you just conjured up 250 quid overnight? What are credit cards for? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, excuse me. I'm coming. What's he like? Do you fancy a drink, Berta? Yeah, I'll need one. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> She's your girlfriend, not a sheepdog. <laughs> As you told. Yeah. And before you ask, yeah, I know I'm skinned, but I thought so what? I bought him. With what? Thought you liked a girl with a little bit of mystery. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you want? Nothing. Just collecting the accounts and the petty cash. I didn't know the, uh, the petty cash got checked. Well, that shows how much attention you've been paying. It's checked every month. Yeah, but, I mean, what's it got to do with, uh, Nathan? Why are you so interested? I would just like to know how the shop works, that's all. Well, it's simple. Nathan can't balance the account without checking the petty cash. Right, I'm going to start on the jams now. Do you fancy doing the pickled peppers? I'm in trouble. You know, I said I maxed out my credit card to get these shoes. Yes. And I got a credit card. And you've dragged me in here to tell me that? I took the money from the petty cash to network. Have you stolen it? No, I borrowed it. I was going to put it back as soon as I got paid. Right, so what's the problem? Well, Nathan has taken the petty cash to know when he's going to know that oh. something's missing. What's going on here, then? I don't know, but if Nikhil catches it, I'm the one who's going to be in trouble. I say, it's like watching one of them, uh them silent movie things, isn't it? Ooh. Two minutes here. Come here. That's what I was thinking was, right? You could lend me the money and I could put it back and then he would just think that it's his mistake, won't he? Skin, well, uh... Well, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Take me back, get a refund. Can't, can I? I'm wearing them. Well, why didn't you just wait until you'd saved the money? Because I would have missed the sale. Oh, huh? those ridiculous shoes are going to cost you your job, you know. I don't think he's going to tell Natasha, do you? Oh, I think that's the least of your worries. You could call the police. 